Here is the only cybersecurity career roadmap you'll ever need, starting from someone who is a complete beginner with zero background in cyber to getting your first job in cybersecurity. Yeah, yeah. Now, this video is going to contain a lot of different courses, hands-on trainings, and many projects you'll have to work on to get yourself job ready as a cybersecurity professional. For most beginners, I would say this roadmap should take about two to three months to complete, depending on how much time you're dedicating to learning. But by the end of this, you'll be one of the top job candidates for any entry-level cybersecurity job. Wow. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want you to start out with is the ultimate beginner's guide from try hack me now this is a collection of 500 plus training labs from try hack me so i definitely don't expect you to complete all of them but i do want you to go through at least 100 of them and i know that sounds like a lot but most of these you can complete within an hour or a few hours so this is great for beginners when you're learning through different skills because it also covers different tools for example the sections i want you to focus on the most are specifically level two level four and level six now of course you can complete more than these but these are going to give you the basics of what you need to know as an entry-level cybersecurity analyst, specifically on cybersecurity tooling like Nmap, Hydra, Linux, the OWASP, Zed Attack Proxy, and Metasploit. Then you can move forward to level four, which is web application security, where you'll learn about DNS, SQL injection, how to use Burp Suite, and a few other web application security tools that you can learn that you can also use in future cybersecurity projects that you'll be working on, and more on the cybersecurity projects that you'll be working on later in this video. Level six in this pathway covers networking, which is a very important part of cybersecurity. Don't sleep on this, but I'll also be sharing another networking training later in this video that goes more in depth into specific networking tooling. But Try Hack Me does a good job of giving you the basics of networking, networking services, active and passive recon, network traffic analysis, and how to use Snort. So you can learn how to detect real-time threats and identify any network traffic anomalies. All right, so once you've gone through the Try Hack Me training guides, you should now have a basic understanding of popular cybersecurity tools, network security, and application security which are going to be the main two areas that a typical entry-level cybersecurity analyst is going to be working on. After this, you should take the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. This also happens to prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification, which is a certification that I would highly, highly recommend you getting, especially if you're a complete beginner. This is going to help get your foot in the door for many cybersecurity jobs because it's basically the de facto cybersecurity certification that HR and hiring managers are looking for in their job candidates. And you're going to have a much better chance getting an entry-level job in cybersecurity with the certification compared to without it. And there are definitely people who have been able to get an entry-level cybersecurity job without their security plus but it just makes your life 10 times easier to get the certification but it is a very hefty certification to study for as a beginner that is why i recommend getting the google cybersecurity professional certificate first because it also provides you a discounted exam voucher for your security plus when you take it so it's basically a win-win because you get to learn the foundations through the google cybersecurity cert which will give you entry-level cybersecurity skills through hands-on projects cybersecurity threats vulnerabilities how to mitigate them learning how to use an siem python as well as sql so there's a lot packed in here not just for learning cybersecurity foundations, but also learning Python scripting skills and getting experience using an SIEM, which is very commonly used if you were to start a job as an SOC analyst, which is another very popular entry-level cybersecurity career. Now, the Google Cybersecurity Cert on Coursera does say that you can complete it in six months at seven hours per week, but honestly, you can complete this in a month or less, pacing yourself based on the time you have on weekends, on weekdays, they're basically recommending one hour a day, seven hours per week on this course. Personally, I would do a few hours a day and try to get this course done within one to two months. And then from there, you should really be focusing on fully studying for your CompTIA Security Plus. Now, there are free resources out there on top of this Google Cybersecurity Cert to help you prepare. And I'd recommend Professor Messer's CompTIA Security Plus course. It is free. You can find it on YouTube. You can also find it on Professor Messer's website. Personally, the bulk of my studying also came from the CompTIA Security Plus all-in-one textbook. I really recommend using a textbook as one of your study resources because because I did practice exams, I watched video, and I used this textbook. And I would say the textbook gave me the biggest confidence in myself in passing my certification on the first try because I knew that everything I had to know was in that textbook. And I did all of the practice quiz questions at the end of every chapter. And by the end of all my studying, I probably already did hundreds, maybe even a thousand practice security plus questions through different practice exams and questions I found online. I'll also share my video of how I passed my CompTIA Security Plus certification linked in my video description along with all of the other resources and courses that I mentioned in this video. Now, I know this sounds like a lot, but trust me, it is going to be worth it. A career in cybersecurity comes with really good job stability 
stability, very decent pay, even for an entry-level role, as well as really interesting work that you'll be working on. So if you've already gotten through all the training to this point, that is already a sign to you that this is the career for you. So while you're wrapping up studying for your CompTIA Security Plus certification, I would also start working on some hands-on cybersecurity projects. So I do have a video on the top five beginner cybersecurity projects that you should work on as a beginner to put on your resume. I'll also include a few bonuses, including creating your own SOC lab at home with an SIEM, creating your own phishing attack simulator, and setting up your own host-based intrusion detection system, or an HIDS. Most of these projects are done using open source or free tooling, so you don't need anything to start besides a VM and a laptop and good internet connection, but I really, really recommend working on technical cybersecurity projects because when you're starting to apply for jobs, which we'll also cover in this video, along with LinkedIn, resume, and interview prep, you want to make sure that even if you don't have any previous cybersecurity experience on your resume, you want to at least have cybersecurity projects on your resume because then you can actually share bullet points on the things that you worked on, on the cybersecurity skills that you have, the cybersecurity tooling that you've used, as well as just sharing your overall expertise in a specific domain in cybersecurity compared to just listing a cybersecurity course or a certification that you've completed. So it just makes you a more well-rounded individual because you have more than just a course and a cert on your resume. You also have two to three, maybe even four cybersecurity projects. Maybe you also have some volunteer experience, whether it be through cybersecurity conferences or B-sides, which I highly recommend joining a cybersecurity B-side, especially if you have one near you. They're basically cybersecurity meetups that host cybersecurity events, workshops, talks, and you get to network with other cybersecurity professionals that may already be in the space or trying to break in, which will make it a whole lot easier for you because you're already actively networking, which may also give you more leads on cybersecurity jobs and other opportunities. All right, so now that you have the basics, what's next? This is basically where your cybersecurity career roadmap focuses on what niche you're actually interested in. The specific pathways that we'll be talking about are cloud security, defensive security, offensive security, and GRC, or governance risk and compliance. This is going to be based on which area of cybersecurity that you're most interested in based on the training and the courses you've already taken. Now, another resource I want to share is Simply Learn. Simply Learn has great boot camps and certifications in cybersecurity, and they were also recently reviewed and recommended by Forbes. Simply Learn creates online cybersecurity courses with program partners partners, including Caltech, the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing, CompTIA, and the CISSP. These range from one month to six month programs that you can take with no experience in cybersecurity to being job ready. The Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed with modules from the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing and the EC Council. This is a six month fully online bootcamp that was rated 4.5 stars on SwitchUp as part of this program, you'll attend live masterclasses delivered by faculty from MIT, as well as complete four industry case studies covered by MIT professors. This along with 25 plus hands-on cybersecurity projects to help boost your technical experience and add onto your resume or project portfolio when you start applying to cybersecurity jobs. The live lessons also cover the latest AI trends and how this impacts cybersecurity roles. You can check out their learner reviews directly on their website, as well as the application process, and selected candidates can begin the program within one to two weeks. The next cohort starts soon, and I'd recommend checking it out in the link in my description if you're interested in learning more. You can also get a 10% off scholarship for the program using my code SANDRA10. And with that, let's get back to the rest of the video. If you're interested in cloud security, then your next step should be the Microsoft Azure Security Engineer Associate Professional Certificate. As one of the most popular cloud providers out there, I highly recommend going through this Azure course if you're interested in starting a career in cloud security. This is one of the biggest growing areas in cybersecurity, so I do think it's worth it and get officially Microsoft Azure certified. If you're interested in defensive security or blue teaming, I'd recommend getting the blue team level one certificate. This is for a junior SOC or security operations center analyst. This also happens to be a hands-on training. So you'll work directly with your hands-on labs covering security fundamentals, phishing analysis, threat intelligence, digital forensics, SIMs, and incident response. And security blue team also has free courses that you can review directly on their website as an introduction to SOC and SOC analyst work. So I would highly recommend going through that as well. Now on top of this, another option for blue teaming is the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification. I've personally gone through that course and it has a lot of information and a lot of labs for an SOC or security analyst. Completing both of these courses will really give you all the projects and experience that you need to add onto your resume as an SOC analyst, especially 
considering that the Hack the Box CDSA certification, the exam itself is basically working as an SOC analyst and, and is very similar to a job simulation, but as an exam. So I'd highly recommend checking that out. Okay, so what if you're interested in offensive security? You have a few different options for beginner certification courses. For example, the TCM Security PNPT certification or the Practical Network Penetration Tester Cert. This is a great option since it is very hands-on, but if you're looking for the foundations of ethical hacking, I'd recommend this Coursera course by the EC Council for Ethical Hacking Essentials. Now I know in a past video, I put the CEH as a certification that's not worth it, but it's not because of the material it covers, it's because the exam just isn't very practical and that doesn't really help you if you're trying to become an ethical hacker. But if you're a complete beginner and you need the foundations, then because this course is on Coursera, and if you already have a Coursera subscription from taking the Google Cybersecurity Cert, then this is basically free to you. So I would go through the EC Council Ethical Hacking Essentials course to learn the foundations of security threats and vulnerability assessments, password cracking, social engineering, network attacks, web application attacks, wireless attacks, mobile attacks, IoT and cloud computing, as well as penetration testing fundamentals. So it really covers the gamut of a general broad sense of the responsibilities as well as different branches of ethical hacking. And last but not least, for my viewers interested in GRC, governance, risk and compliance or auditing, then the two courses I would recommend are created by Jerry Alder from Simply Cyber for his GRC Analyst Masterclass and Unix guy for his GRC mastery course. Now both Unix guy and Jerry Alder are cybersecurity GRC professionals with 20 plus years of experience. So what it's going to come down to between picking either of these courses are which videos that you resonate with the most. Both their GRC courses are created for anyone who has no previous experience in GRC or even cybersecurity. It gives you the rundown of everything you need from foundational cybersecurity and GRC concepts, hands-on labs, assessments and quizzes, and career resources. So you have a lot to learn from either of these courses, no matter which one you choose. And if you watch both of their videos, you get an understanding of their teaching style and how they go about introducing different GRC concepts, especially because GRC is definitely one of the compliance heavy, documentation heavy areas in cybersecurity. So even though it's not a technical cybersecurity niche, it is still very heavy in material and different concepts. I'll link both of these GRC courses in my description for you to check out, as well as an in-depth review of the GRC mastery course that I've also personally completed in my description below. All right, I know this roadmap is a lot to take in, but we have a few more steps to go. So the final two training courses I want to recommend are free, and these are the Juniper Networks IT training, IT and network security training, as well as the Clicked Job Simulation training. Juniper Networks is one of the biggest IT networking companies in the world, and they have free training that is provided by their open learning program and as a cybersecurity professional, learning networking is going to help you whether you're going into offensive or defensive security. So this is one of the best overlapping cybersecurity skills to learn. And especially if you're interested in first starting a career in IT before transitioning into cybersecurity, as that is another very popular route for those just starting out in their careers. For the last training that I mentioned, Clicked, they provide cybersecurity job training through the IBM Skills Build program in partnership with IBM. You'll cover cybersecurity shadowing sessions from other cybersecurity professionals, live workshops, as well as even hands-on sprints, where you'll actually get to work on a cybersecurity project with a team of other students so that you get to experience what it's like working in cybersecurity. And this whole program is free, so I highly recommend it, checking it out. I'll have a link to sign up for Clicked for free in my description below. Okay, so we've come so far. The last topics I want to talk about, I promise I won't talk your ear off, but these are on LinkedIn prep, resume prep, and interview prep. This is basically the last hurdle you have to jump through as you start your career in cybersecurity because this leads directly to your first job. Your LinkedIn and your resume are basically how you're portraying yourself to a recruiter, to a hiring manager, anyone who is looking at you as a job candidate. You really wanna make sure that all the months and time that you put into gaining the skills to put on your resume are properly and well portrayed to a hiring manager, to a recruiter, so they know exactly what skills you have, exactly what projects you've worked on, and exactly what you bring to the table. If I talk about all this in one video, it's going to take a very, very long time and we'll be sitting here for hours. So I'll link two previous videos I've made on my cybersecurity resume, as well as how to optimize your LinkedIn to get more recruiters reaching out to you and reviewing your profile. Last but not least, I also have a video I can share on interview prep, which gives you the foundations of how to prepare for your next cybersecurity interview and ace it. I also have a dedicated interview prep course linked in my description when you're ready to start studying for your cybersecurity interviews. All right, so that is it for this video. This was a very long one, but hopefully this was helpful and gave you exact steps and the exact roadmap for the courses and certifications, trainings, and projects to take to get you job ready to start a career in cybersecurity. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Feel free to connect on LinkedIn and don't forget to join our Discord channel where we cover all things cybersecurity careers, certifications, courses, as well as sharing wins on job offers and interviews. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.